everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am back with another video and this time we are doing some colorful ombre nails so the first thing i'm doing is i'm going in with this essie color and the color sugar daddy which is a really light pink almost like a milky pink and it's really really light and we're doing one coat on both hands and i'm just using this as a base for the ombre i don't want to do a white because i don't want the colors to be like super super bright i want them to be more of a pastel color so once again this is essie in the color sugar daddy Alrighty, so another thing I do want to mention is that when you're doing this ombre effect with the makeup wedge sponges, you do want to make sure that your base is completely dry before you start applying the other colors with the sponge. Because if not, it will be really, really sticky. So remember, just make sure that your base is completely dry. And usually by the time I finish this second hand, my first one we will already be ready to go and it will be dry. But you do have to make sure that you don't apply that first coat super thick. So now I'm going in with the makeup wedge sponge. I get them from my dollar, no not Dollar Tree, but Dollar General and those are the ones that I like. They come in a pink packet and then the other colors they don't have to be the same color but I'm using the DND Sun of Pink. I'm using the Summer Sun by DND as well, a purple by Essie and then the blue one is by Sinful. Once again they are regular polishes. Just put them on your sponge and just dab it on the nail and I was gonna do a different like pattern on the other ones or like place the color somewhere else for the ring finger and the middle or in the index finger sorry but I decided not to so you will see me skip those fingers at first but I'm gonna come back to them so once again you don't have to use these same colors you can do this look with any color that you want but if you're doing it with the sponge you do have to make sure that you are using regular polish and then don't worry about getting it on the skin because i am going to go back with a cleanup brush and some acetone to clean around the cuticle area or if you have like the liquid latex you can use that as well but i just like going back around with acetone and basically you just want to do this on the nails until you get the look that you want usually i don't have to go back and do it more than three times usually two or three is pretty good um so as you can see the colors do get to like do start getting a little lighter if the polish starts running out so you just go back and just add the same colors on the sponge and then just continue to dab the nails so as you can see I went over the nails twice with the makeup wedge sponge and the colors and then now I'm gonna go back and remove that polish off the cuticles you want to do this after each hand because then it's gonna dry up and it's gonna be harder to take off so before you start the other hand go ahead and take that polish from around the cuticle area and like I said you can use like the liquid latex but I feel like it's more work because first you have to apply it and then you have to take it off and with this you just go back and take the polish off at the end Alrighty, so we're gonna let that first hand dry and we're gonna move on to the other hand so we're doing the same thing applying the polish on the makeup wedge sponge and just dabbing it on the nail now one thing I do want to mention is that you want to make sure that you are turning your clients finger over to the sides as you can see I'm holding their finger with my thumb and then my, the rest of my fingers and then I just turn their finger as I'm doing it that way I get polish on all of the nail and not just the middle you want to get a full coverage on all the nails okay then we're gonna go ahead and do a second coat so as you can see I do the two coats back to back because this process dries up really really fast because we're not just applying a whole bunch of polish a lot of the polish gets soaked into the sponge so whenever we're actually dabbing the polish onto the sponge it's not a lot of it so um, usually by the time I finish doing this I could go ahead and apply the top coat now you do want to make sure that since it is regular polish that you wait until the polish is completely dry now for for me i do want to mention that i don't use a fan i do have a small fan for my regular polish 
but I, the only time I really use regular polish is when I'm doing the ombre and like I said this ombre effect with the sponge dries up really fast so I don't even have to have my fan out but after this we're gonna apply some bling on the ring fingers and it's just gonna be a couple of SS6 and SS12 and um, then after that we're just gonna apply our gel top coat which I'm using my IBD gel top coat Alrighty, so like I said, we are applying some bling on the ring finger. So I'm just doing a couple around the cuticle area. So for that, I'm using my Mia Secret Gel Resin, my Wax Pencil, my SS6, and my SS12. The SS12 is the one in the middle, like the bigger one. And then the SS6 are the smaller ones. And then I'm also going to be using my Mia Secret Gel Resin Activator, which is the spray that helps the glue dry. Now, you don't have to use it, but like I said, it does help it dry a little bit faster because it is more of a gel consistency so I know you do not have to cure it but the glue is a little bit thicker that's why it comes with the gel resin activator so I'll leave the link in the description to it so once again I am doing my IBD gel top coat and then we're gonna let this cure for 60 seconds Alrighty y'all so this is the final look they turned out really really pretty and it was really simple to do so I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on Facebook and Instagram at getnail32 and I'll see you guys later.